Good morning. It, we got a little rain last night. That's a good thing. We had uh, just about a half inch here, 4,500, the rain gauge said. Mm, truck started a little sluggish there. Weird. Um, that's good. That's good. We had some rain here. The weather station that we have down to Berkey, however, um, it says we had 3.75 inches overnight down there. Like, well, where did it come from? I, had, I I was shocked. And Dad said he was watching the news this morning, and the one weather channel or the news channel said that um, a mile north of Secor Park had over six inches of rain. A mile north of Secor Park is exactly where one of our farms is. Like, literally, that's our farm. So, yeah, it's pretty wet down there. I was thinking about going down to look, but I've got a lot of stuff going on today. I don't know that I'm going to have time, but maybe tomorrow we'll head to Berkey and check it out and see how much water is everywhere. Yeah. So, my plans have changed a little bit this morning. I was supposed to go, uh, had an appointment with uh, uh, one of my growers to walk fields at 10.30 this morning, but uh, he called and asked if we could come later this afternoon, so we're going to wait and do it later this afternoon. Uh, in the meantime, I am heading uh, up to pick up Dad at one of our fields. He's got a little project he's going to start working on, so I'm going to show you guys the before pictures, and then we'll see the afters in a week or two, so something here. Um, but this should be should be a good project for him to work on. So we have a field up here that's, there's a, there's a road right here, corner, and then the river cuts through right there. Uh, if you guys remember my flooding pictures from like a year and a half ago or in the spring of 2020, uh, this is one of the fields that I showed that was like completely underwater when we had all that rain. But uh, this forms a triangle here. So we've got a, a triangle that goes along the river and comes out to this point here. Well, this is kind of our main driveway and you can see how sloped it is and uneven and downhill. And it's a real pain for getting semis and, and stuff in and out. And you can't see very good and you're down low coming out of there. And so dad is going to fix it. He's got some culverts over there that he's going to put in, I assume, somewhere right through here in this little divot. And then um, down there, he's got his scrapers and he's going to pull a bunch of dirt off the bank of that river and fill this whole area in. Let's ask him what his plan is. What's the plan here? Um, How's this going to work? We're going to do a little surveying, but I'm going to run a tube to the corner of the field by the road ditch. Over there. And then I'm going to get enough 15-inch tile. Cut a tr like a through that low ground there? Yep. Through that dip down to the river? Yep. And then just fill it all in? And we're going to fill it all in. I see. I got a big bank along the river here that's too high. It's a lot higher here than up. there. So all this dirt is going to come this way. This was uh, uh, dredged in 1906. <laughs> yeah, the river. The river was dredged and they left the banks really high because they, nobody wanted to move the dirt. So this is the St. George River. This is the river that we're irrigating out of when we do that. And uh, they, they dredged it in 1906 apparently. And when they did that, they just threw the dirt and the spoils off on the side. So it's all piled up here and um, we're going we're gonna to move it. All right, Dad's gonna go work on that for a little bit. Phil's been working on this air seeder and doing, he's really flying right through it here. Uh, new blades on everything, new seed uh, tabs. This little piece right, right there. Um, replacing some of the gauge wheels. This one's new, some of the old ones are down here yet. Uh, checking all the bearings and everything. He does have, we have some new gauge wheels, the rubber pieces that we're putting on, so using the press for that. There's a whole pile of them over there by the door. Uh, he did get a couple of things to try. We've got some of these uh, gauge wheel. They're just a different material. See if they last any longer. And then he got some different of these, uh, call them a seed block wheel or a press wheel that runs right down in the furrow. Uh, these ones are really skinny, narrow compared to, uh, well, these ones are a narrow one too, but different rubber material versus a plastic. And we're trying some stuff. Brock was here yesterday and took a bunch of these apart. He's coming back today and gets to put them all back together. So that's his job. All right, I have uh, got a little bit of computer work here to do this morning. Um, like I told you yesterday, we've got our pricing from Golden Harvest. 
So I am working on putting some proposals together. I actually like to create my own little quote tool. Uh, just use a Google Sheets document and make up a spreadsheet that, that makes it a lot easier for me to keep track of everything. So uh, I'm working on creating that right now and doing some stuff. I need to run down to my house here in a little bit, see if anybody's there working today and check in. I haven't found anybody all week. They've been here, but not the same times I've been here. So anyway, that's my plan for a little while here this morning. Uh, I came down to check out stuff on the house. Look, we got straw trailers in here. They needed somewhere to park them before it rained. And it rained, so good thing I did that. All right, um, we've got a little bit of mapping that we need to do uh, with the gator. And so I need to get some GPS stuff put on there. So I'm going to find our RTK receiver, which I believe is still on the combine, and get that put on there. And then uh, I'm going to use that Gen 4 display and get that all mounted back in there. GPS receiver display should it should work it does okay so we have a couple of things that we need to do with this um, one is uh, that field that we were in yesterday spraying um, the landlord well, the landlord's grandsons uh, want to put some pasture up for some cattle and so they are gonna put some fence up around the house up there which is fine um, but I asked them if I could come and help them mark out the boundary so that we can make it somewhat of an even planter pass and uh, so I can use the GPS to kind of tell where the edge of the planter is going to be in the spring and then just move their fence inside that so we don't have a bunch of point rows that we need to fill in. So that's one thing. And then the other thing is all those tile lines that we put in, uh, we're going to map them. So put this in here so we can use it to map tile lines. I was going to do it in the 8R when Dad was working them down, but he was rather impatient and just went and worked them all down. And um, I didn't get it put in there quick enough, so now we get to bounce over them with the gator. I'm, I'm probably going to teach Brock how to do that. Seems like a good job for him. So my uh, customer that's dropping off some wheats to be treated is on his way. Might even be there already. I don't know. I just saw his text. I'm like, oh, better get down there. So I'm hauling our little belt conveyor down there. That was a big reason we bought this belt conveyor was uh, for getting seed wheat out of wagons and into boxes to run through the treater. So we're going to take it down there. I don't, I'm not going to do it today. I don't even have the chemical to do it today. But uh, we'll have it down here when we do need it, and uh, we'll be ready. Well, it turns out when you let um, trucks sit for a couple of weeks, I don't know when the last time I drove that truck was, but it wouldn't start, wouldn't start, wouldn't start. It acted like it was completely out of gas. And I know it was low when I put it in here, but it wasn't completely out. So I went and got a little bit, and it started right up. But then all the check engine light, all kinds of lights are on, and it said service stuff, and it was reduced engine power. I don't know. So now I get to fix an old truck. <sighs> One thing after another. But I got that conveyor in here, and our wagon of seed wheat that we need to treat is here. So we're just going to have him back that in here, and then uh, we'll get to it when we get to it. Well, got the customer taken care of and decided to try my truck again, and now it wants to act just fine. Check engine lights on, but it acts fine, so I don't know. Maybe it's okay. Why it would run out of gas just sitting here, I don't know. All right. It's time to go walk some fields and see some seed customers. I'll show you. I'll show you one of these fields we're going to look at. All right. We have made it up to my customer's antigen field here. It looks pretty rough right here on the edge, but this is pretty sandy ground. They're, um, they're watering. The water's running over that way, but um, once we get out there, I suppose it will look quite a bit better. So we're going to go take a look, see what we can find out here. Whoa, look at that. They found the marker ear. That was the first one I peeled back too. That is so cool. So this Enogen corn has these red ears in it to differentiate it from regular corn. Uh, it used to be speckled into the kernels. Now it's a whole red ear. That is really cool, actually. You can see the one right next to it. Does not have that at all, but um, that's that's interesting. And you can see once we got out here, this corn is tall. It's This looks good. I'm not a silage guy, so I don't know a lot about it, but if you ask me, this is pretty darn good looking silage corn. You can see a sprayer tracks here from putting their tassel fungicide on, and these guys are wide dropping. Um, they're doing a lot of really progressive things, so looks good. Really clean fields. You guys, weed control did a really nice job. Yeah, I think and, we're going to go a little further yet. A little further? Yeah, 
We're trying to find the spot where the pivot hit the first time around. Pretty so it's good looking no irrigation stuff here. I'm pretty impressed with this hybrid. Uh, this is 113 day corn. It's really full season. There is a little bit of lean to some of it here. They had some really nasty wind here about two weeks ago, I would say. I uh, leaned it over, but it won't cause any problems with the chopper or anything. There's a weed. You don't see too many of those out here. Um, looks really good. You got some really high brace roots anchor in it. Looks really nice. All right, it is hot and humid out here in this cornfield. Did you guys know, I saw this fact on Facebook the other day, the local weather station shared it, that an acre of healthy, good growing corn can um, basically add 4,000 gallons of water a day to the humidity in the atmosphere through evapotranspiration. That's what it's taking up and, and respirating off. So when it feels super muggy out, it's worse in a cornfield. So we're going to get out of here. It's not fun to walk through cornfields when they're tasseled and it's hot and humid, but I uh, wanted to come and see it, check stuff out. It looks really good. I hope they're going to be happy with it. It should add up tonnage-wise, and uh, I know that the quality of the feed is going to be excellent with that energy trait in it. A little strip here that went down. Like I said, they had some wind. Um, the fire department a few miles from here recorded 104 mile per hour winds in that storm, so uh, the fact that it's standing like it is is impressive. I took the drone up to do a little fly-in scouting. I'll show you guys that stuff in here too. got back to the farm um, it's threatening to rain maybe a little bit which uh, wouldn't be the worst thing we don't really need it but I won't complain um, I'm gonna go home pretty quick all right guys well thanks for watching today I didn't accomplish a whole lot walked some really good cornfields and took some sweet drone footage and um, those looks good so I'm taking the Chevy home to get fuel and to drive it every now and then. Um, anyway, tomorrow uh, we got a little spraying to do, assuming it doesn't rain a bunch tonight, which it might, it might not, who knows. And uh, we'll see what else is going on tomorrow. Brock will be back. I've got some mapping that needs to be done. We might work on that. Uh, yeah, we got, we got a lot of things to do yet. 